everyone thanks for joining me for another video now we're gonna go ahead on and move straight on into week number um 38 i am still using the uh, simple stories fall collection um this is hello fall and actually um i don't know if i said this in my other video i'm gonna be using this collection all the way through um i want to say mid october because i didn't switch over to a halloween um kit until about i want to say mid-october is when i used um uh, frankie which is also simple stories so anyway this is september you know sep uh, fall uh september 22nd was the first day of fall this year so um i decided i was going to go ahead and use this so anyway let's go ahead and get started because i'm also trying to get on to um, my next layout um, i've already laid out my pictures and i haven't cut them yet the way i like to have um i have been cutting them so they won't have so much white space um i have been keeping these very simple what i did was i went back um in my album and i picked out my favorite layouts that i did um myself and i took a quick photo of it and i'm just repeating what i you know what photo what layout i did back then and the one that i'm using right now um the layout that i did was week 25 so i'm repeating that same pattern of week 25 and i'm incorporating it into this uh this spread so anyway let's go ahead and get started um, I was liking, I love that wood. I can't wait to use that one. I'm saving that one for, I'm saving a lot of them actually until the week of, um, fall. And so, um, a lot of them have fall on them. So I didn't want to use them quite yet. And so I'm putting those aside I really like this one. It has that wood that I'm looking for and it has leaves are falling, autumn is coming, which is true. For this particular layout, fall will be the next week. So I'm gonna go with this one. I love, love, love this washi right here. It's actually my favorite. And so I might put some of this on there. And it's no mite. I am, I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. And then for the lettering that I want to use, I wanted to use this gray tone. I thought this one was really, really cute. And I'm just going to peel the eight off of there first. And we're just going to continue to do the same steps that I did in the previous videos. I'm going to try to line it up as much as possible. And once I get my title on the page, I'll start embellishment embellishing up here i did want to find a wood veneer to go on here that goes with this particular week i used family on the last one so i'm gonna have to find another one that goes with this week um the wood veneers i'm using are from freckle farm i'm not sure which collection or i'm not sure if there's a name on the pack, I know that they come from Freckle Farm. Um, I, lately, I made my purchase for my December daily. So, um, the numbers I'm using this year are from Freckle Farm. I'll show you those real quick. Can you see those? It's kind of dark in here, huh? So, those are my Freckle Farm. Um, I'm painting them, well, spraying them. I'm misting them with Mr. Huey's. So those are here. And I did order a couple of phrases. Um, I'm waiting on some, I wanted to get some phrases that had some, um, some acrylic phrases because acrylic is in this, this year. So this is a cute little ladder. But it, it will cover up the space there. So I'm not going to use that. Um, here's a green tree. I'm thinking I might use this green tree here. Okay, that one, it goes better on that side. Because I got a lot of open space on the other side there. So... 
It's really cute. And then look for another really quick embellishment to put. Uh, I might just leave it. So now basically I'm just going to move on to the next one. At first I was looking for embellishments to go there in that empty spot, but then I decided I'm not going to. So now I found this other card with trees on it. And now that I look at it, it looks kind of crazy. I don't know if I left it there or not. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and lay out all of my photos and now I'm looking for a couple embellishments to add under the trees. This um, collection actually has like acorns in it and stuff. So I thought that was pretty neat. I'm going to add um, my favorite season on that tree in that open spot. And then I'm going to add some of these thicker acorns. I thought they were so cute and gorgeous. And... Um, <clears throat> Then I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting up my photos as well. I was looking for my enamel dots to go along with this particular uh, layout. All I could find was some like orange and then I found some cream looking color ones. So I was happy with that. So um, now that I found these particular enamel dots you'll see them throughout this whole page i kind of overdo it sometimes with the enamel dots but um i can't help it and before i said that this was week 35 this is week 38 you can um now that i'm looking at it um as i go back through it i can barely see the numbers with the um, washi tape backing i probably should have put it above um, a little bit on the wood grain so that way you will be able to see it but again I love those colors that was um, in that package that I purchased um, I think it comes like a pack of I want to say eight letters so and now you guys will see what I use my um, how I use that little Walgreens um, balance reward card I think you'll be able to see how I use that in this video I pretty much use it a lot in my planner I know right I do a planner project life um, I do a lot of a lot of crafting it's my getaway or uh, my stress reliever but that's how I use my little balance card there you don't have it anymore have to use it anymore when you go into the store so um, basically I was putting it behind the photo and then I, I needed one more strip. And so anyway, that's how I use it. It gives me a clean cut, uh, especially in my planner, uh, when I'm using my washi tape. And then, so now I'm going to adhere that photo there and I love that card. It says together. Oh, wait, let me wait until it turns back over. Um, together is, um the best place to be and it was all three of my kiddos one of my kiddos kind of got cut off my husband was out of town so um we were having a huge slumber party uh, we stayed up late and everything is that crazy though when your husband is in town everybody goes to bed on time but then when he's out of town everybody stays up super duper late catching movies and then our thing is sometimes we end up watching a movie that's scary i don't know how but it always seems like we find something to terrify us half to death and um we stay up pretty late and we sleep with the lights on i know i'm very old and then here i am like a little kid sleeping with the lights on um when my husband is gone um but the house seems empty and creepy I don't know. Uh, that's crazy. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, so I added some of those cute little scripted acorns on that other picture of my son. Then I'm going to add this little, um, this little saying here in the empty part. And it's something about life. Again, I'm still using the phrases from this collection and also the life collection. This washi tape I have had for so long. I use it now. Uh, when I'm doing like the D layout in order to put two three by fours together in order to make it a four by six. 
And so it works out really well to have that huge washi tape. It's from Studio Calico, like way, way, way back when. Maybe last year sometime. Not that far back, but last year sometime. And then um, at first I was going to put a flower on there, but then I was like, no, I'm not going to put a flower on my guy here. Um, he wouldn't like that. So I'm just playing around with the embellishments. And this right here is a photo of these pack of socks that I got. And uh, my husband was like, what is wrong with you with all of these colorful socks? I'm like, nobody sees my socks. And um, here I am taking a shot of my socks. And um, it was just something that, you know, got me going on that Monday. And I said, um, these, oh, they were pink. They were pink striped socks. And I said, pink striped socks make me happy on a Monday is what that caption says under there. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then here is some popcorn by Smart Food. I found it inside of these um at Walmart in these bags and they have like um movie popcorn and then they have these kernel um popcorn that are like a sweet and a um salty and I choose to snack on um popcorn because of the carbs are not that high it's like only seven carbs in these little baggies and so that is a nice treat to have especially if you're like transitioning between having like a huge load of carbs all the way down to a low amount of carbs these things have really um helped me um with my snacking as well i found that popcorn is like that go-to thing like i said it's not that many carbs in it the most i've seen w in carbs would be the movie popcorn even in this little baggie it's like 12 so and if you guys do not know i have a type 1 diabetic so we do count our carbs and our macros here in my home and we like to find um it's not just me on a weight loss journey it's just um a lifestyle for all of us where i feel like since he's so young with the type one if we teach him now he'll be able to do it himself as an adult so he can see how his father and i as an adult live with this type of lifestyle and let's just face it if he's eating healthy his whole life he won't be tempted to go out and um, just destroy all of his numbers by eating junk food and stuff like that. So we always looking for um, snacks and stuff. I'm so sorry I got off subject here. Um, we have here some enamel dots. I'm going throughout putting enamel dots and... Um, um, then I'm just going back and also finding embellishments to embellish the page with. On my sock day, I found happy days and cozy. And I found another one of those little cute owls. I'm actually loving the owls in this um, collection. And then on the, on the corn, I put um, Harvest Happiness, which these are my favorite. Out of all the popcorn that's in there, I think you get like 24. But anyway, that completes the layout for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.